If you're looking to game at 1440p and get rid of 1080p and you're working with a tight budget, on this video I will show you a PC build that's around $750 for 1440p gaming and not only that but I will also show you this PC with a monitor for around a thousand bucks in case you don't have a 1440p monitor yet. So you will have both the PC itself and a monitor for around that price. I will also show you how to make this PC cheaper and how to make it more expensive in case you want more FPS or you want to save some money without losing much performance. That said, let's start. With the CPU, I went with a pick that I always go with, the Ryzen 5 5600. I don't think that you should be going with the 5600X at the moment or the 12400 for Intel. This one will deliver excellent performance even at 4K with the right GPU and it's a 6 core 12 thread processor which is the sweet spot for gaming, so overall great processor. For the motherboard, I picked the MSI B550M, probably the H Wi Fi Micro ATX motherboard. This one, like the name says, has Wi Fi included. It's not going to be the most complete motherboard but it's going to have enough features for gaming. However, in the video description, you will have all of these components and also alternatives. So if you want a better motherboard with more features, you will have it down below in the description. With the memory kit, I picked the Silicon Power Turbine 16 gigs of RAM 2x8 DDR4 3200MHz. If you don't understand anything about computers, this one will be more enough for gaming. Then for the storage, I picked the Team Group MP33 1TB of Gen 3 SSD for 50 bucks once again one terabyte is the sweet spot for gaming and the prices for ssds keep rotating so maybe you can find something cheaper that is going to perform the same but i think that this one is actually a really solid unit then for the graphics card and the most important part of a gaming system we have the rx 6650 xt going for 300 dollars now on the black friday deals you could get this one i think for around 230 bucks which is an insane price but right now it's $300 and honestly it's a great 1440p GPU. You can either use it for 1440p or super high FPS 1080p and will deliver excellent performance. It's around a 10% slower than the 3060 Ti which makes sense and I don't recommend you getting the 3060 Ti for that price difference and it is also 12% faster than the RTX 3060 and the RTX 3060 is actually more expensive than this GPU so I wouldn't recommend you going with Nvidia GPUs unless you really need the Nvidia encoder or you have your reasons but for the most part the RX 6650 XT is the best price performance GPU for 1440p. Of course to have more money I do recommend you going with the 6700 XT for that extra performance you will be gaining around a 12% faster GPU and the price is around $100 more expensive but I will talk about about that in a second. Then for the case I have the Montec Mesh ATX Mid Tower case. This one has 6 included RGB fans and the airflow is amazing. It's 70 bucks, it used to be a bit cheaper but I still think that for $70 you are getting a great gaming case and just like the storage some cases keep rotating so you may be able to find a better deal than this one or a case that you end up liking more that has good airflow maybe not as good as this one but it's still really good and you like it more just like the motherboard alternative i will leave also a case alternative down below in the video description and then for the power supply we have the rose wheel capstone 550 watt 80 plus gold power supply this one is a c tier unit and it's going to be enough for this type of build you definitely don't need more than this if you want something that's future proof maybe you want to go with 650 watts but i wouldn't recommend you doing that if you want to keep the best price performance gaming pc so this whole build it's around 750 bucks depending on when you're watching this video maybe it's a bit lower or a bit higher because the prices keep changing every single day for the market and then if you don't have a monitor and you want to keep the price under a thousand dollars for the whole setup you can get the hp x 27 q 27 inch 1440p gaming monitor this one has a refresh rate of 165 hertz and it's going to be a really solid choice if you want to keep that price under a thousand bucks but if you can go over a thousand dollars for a total of a thousand and thirty three bucks you can get the gigabyte m27q i think that this one is better than the hp one but again it depends on your budget to be honest it's crazy that for around a thousand dollars you can get a whole setup for 1440p so right now it's a great time to buy a gaming desktop but if you have a lower price i will show you 
right now how to make this PC cheaper. And the way of doing that is by downgrading the storage and the case to the Salman S2. This one is still a great airflow case. It's not gonna be as good as the other one. Now, you end up saving around 30 bucks and it's not a lot, so I actually do not recommend you doing this downgrade. So unless it's extreme situation where you need to save that money, then I wouldn't do this downgrade. Anyway, you are not losing any performance, but you are losing storage. Then if you want a better performance for a hundred extra bucks, you can get the RX 6700 XT. This one, like I said before, is better than the 6650 XT, especially at 1440p resolution. So I would make this upgrade if you are intended to play high-end AAA titles, ultra settings, then yes, I do recommend you doing the upgrade. But if you're going to play high settings and you're not going to be playing the most high demanding video games, then I think that the 6650 XT is going to be better value. And then you can also add a CPU cooler for around 20 bucks if you want more aesthetics and RGB. And also it's going to be a more quiet experience and you're going to be keeping your CPU with better temps. It's not fully necessary. You can get away with the stock cooler for the 5600, but if you have those extra 20 bucks, and you want an RGB CPU cooler, then go ahead and buy one. So if you got value out of this video, leave a like and subscribe, but most importantly, hit that bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content, which I do from three to five times a week. And if you have any questions on this build or just any build, let me know in the comment section and I will try to reply as fast as possible. Also, remember that this month I will be uploading the best deals for Christmas for both private PCs and PC builds. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.